Uh, could you tell us about your airport drone defence concept? Yes, I'm del delighted to do so. Um, what we would like to show you here today at the ATM in Madrid is our concept of how to protect civilian airports against non-cooperative uh, UAVs. Our aim is to protect airport operations and to enable uh, UTM, unmanned traffic management. So the first key essential thing is that you have a proven way how to detect drones in your dedicated area of responsibility. So therefore, Rheinmetall uh, today ex exhibits a particular radar, the MMR radar, which has been designed to detect so-called LSS, low, small and slow targets, where we can um, detect um, small UAVs at a quite um, large distance away from the airport. Once we have uh, an alarm generated, a detected uh, UAV in, the, in your respective airspace, we show it in our command and control application SkyMaster that there is an unidentified object in your airspace and then we automatically direct an electro-optical verification sensor, the PTZ-NG, towards the drone which gives us an optical proof. Is it really a drone or is it a bird? And we do this by HD cameras and infrared cameras and also with an um, integrated laser rangefinder. By that we know precisely where the drone is, its altitude, its speed, its direction, but also we can say if this drone is carrying a payload or not. And in addition, the PTZ camera constantly tracks the drone fully automatic. So the ATC controller does not need to play around with a joystick. He constantly knows where the drone is moving and if it's coming too close to his airport, maybe to his uh, approach area. In the meantime, SkyMaster shows you all other participants in your airspace by integrating, for example, primary radars, ADSB, and in addition, the MMR radar to cover those uh, very small targets in the air. Then what we can do is we have a classification saying if is this is a cooperative drone or a non-cooperative. If it is a non-cooperative one, we have an alarm, the ATC controller knows this, and it clearly shows him where the drone is moving towards. So most airports are already very happy by having such a precise and confirmed information, and then they are confident in their decision-making process. So if they either want to divert traffic or if they want to uh, maybe even close the entire airport operations. That's one thing. But some airports, they want to go even further and they're thinking about countermeasures. But to uh, have uh, the right effector against a non-cooperative drone in an airport environment is highly complex. You cannot use the, the standard uh, air defense means, gun-based air defense or missile-based defense or any, let's say, uh, high-power microwave effectors because you would definitely harm the airport operations. So at the airport, we need speed and range in order to make sure the airport operations are safe. So therefore, the idea is to place at the outskirts of your airport um, the Sentinel catch and once we decide, okay, we want to engage, um, SkyMaster directly uh, sends the right target data to Sentinel. It takes off fully automatically and it's being guided towards the incoming non-cooperative uh, drone. And for the last remaining uh, distance to the target, an integrated optical seeker head takes over. Once it has reached the non-cooperative drone, um, up to a range of 4,000 meters, the drone is flying with a speed of up to 250 kilometers towards the drone. It ejects a net, captures the drone, and in a second step, a parachute is being uh, ejected, which then brings down the drone in a very safe and controlled manner.